Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today we are discussing the dangers to beware of singles ministries. Why? Because most of them are a breeding ground of divorcees, men and women who are not single. Their living spouses are still alive, and if you marry them, you will be, according to the teachings of Jesus Christ, most notably found in Matthew chapter 19 and 9, where he says, I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife or husband, except for sexual immorality, and marries another, commits adultery. We find Jesus giving the same warning in Luke chapter 16 and 18. We also find him giving the same in Mark chapter 10, verse 1 through 12. And we also find clear um, the, the clear mind of God in Romans 7, where Paul is writing, but if uh, a, a woman or, or a man divorces and marries someone else, or, or if she attempts to be with another, and her husband is still alive, she commits adultery. So then the only way that she would be free is if her husband dies, she is released from that law and is not an adulteress if she marries another man. Beloved, I recently ran into someone who I knew almost 20 years ago. And what was interesting, I ran into her husband. They've been, quote, civilly divorced 15 years. But according to the teachings of Jesus, they are still husband and wife. And I tell you this, beloved, I asked him how he had been doing and I asked him, you ever hear from so-and-so, his wife? He said, oh, yeah, she, she, she got remarried. And you could tell the way he said it. He was still in love with this woman. He loved her. I remember when they divorced, it was horrible. It was horrible. They were much younger and very immature. But two, three weeks later, I get a call from her. Because I did tell him to pass my number to the his daughter, who she still kept in touch with. And she was doting on her new husband. And I'm like, oh, boy, here we go, God. I got to tell her she had an order. And I was able to get it in. Um, I said, sister, I try not to say her name. I said, you know, the teachings of Christ, I believe... They tell us that as long as your spouse is living, you are still married to, and I mentioned him, that's still your husband. And she was like, well, I went over that um, time and time again, and I come to the conclusion, Sharon, God don't want his children unhappy. I was not happy. <laughs> oh, friends. No. So... She dated. She ended up in fornication or really adultery because she was sleeping around for a minute. Then she went on a timeout and now she met her current civil husband at a singles ministry. And not only was she after him, a whole bunch of other women was after him too. Beloved, I asked her, well, who married y'all? the pastor of the single ministry church. So what we have is many men and women who are being pushed to eternity in adultery by their pastors who are um, cultivating these adulterous marriages. They are walking them through hand in hand, through counseling. She said they went through counseling as if that was good and validated their adultery. It's adultery, brothers and sisters. And it is being, um, or it has become a gateway 
in these so-called single ministries is so many divorced people, quote, civil divorced people looking for love in these types of ministries called single. You are not single if your husband, your covenant wife is still alive. And let me exhaust this scripture one more time for our understanding. Matthew 19 and 9, where Jesus says, I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife, except for sexual immorality or fornication, Greek word porneia, and marries another, commits adultery. What Jesus was saying, beloved, during the time you are betrothed or engaged and you find out that your husband, quote, your wife has sex with someone else before you, quote, consummate it, you are free from that covenant. You are free. And as I have said in the other teachings, friends, the example of this teaching of Jesus would be his own mother, Mary. If Mary, we know she was impregnated. It was an immaculate conception by God. If she had not been told by the angel of the Lord, telling Joseph that she had been chosen to carry the Messiah, the angel of the Lord told Joseph, take your wife home. Even though they had not consummated, they were betrothed one to another. She, in the sight of men, Mary would have been considered an adult, uh, excuse me, uh, one to commit fornication, pornea. That would have been what she was guilty of. But we know the angel of the Lord straightened Joseph out and said, you know, you're going to take some um, hits on this one. You know, you never touched her, but she did not commit fornication. Beloved, fornication is not your way to divorce. It is through forgiveness. And we find this in the teachings where Jesus forgave the woman caught in adultery. And also, um, and I'm saying all this, beloved, because if you're going to these singles groups, meeting these divorcees, and they're telling you, you know, you know, he committed adultery, she committed adultery. But let us be clear. The woman caught in adultery, Jesus did not hold that to her. He told her to go and sin no more. And we also find the reality, if you were caught in adultery, you were put away by death. God had it fixed in the law to kill that adulterer. So there was no problem with you looking for love because he or she got killed for it. So in our modern times, we do not stone an adulterer. We do not put them away and say, I'm getting a divorce. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You, you, you have to seek wisdom. You have to most definitely separate yourself from someone who is committing adultery. And you, you have to understand, friend, if you touch the body of somebody else's living spouse, you are an adulterer. Don't let your pastors trick you. Don't let them fool you, friend. Don't let them trap you in these single ministries and you, you done hooked up. Because what happens as I close the exhortation, if you are weak in your understanding and your faith, ignorance does not excuse you, friend. If you follow a pastor who gives the blessing to a divorced woman, as he did in this case with my old associate, she think, she's thinking, the, well, you know, my pastor married us. We met a singles ministry. Friends, do not be deceived. The scriptures tell us in the book of Galatians chapter 5. Do not be deceived. Excuse me, 1 Corinthians. Let's read that as I close. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and 9. Do you not know wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, 
nor adulterers, nor men who have sex with men or women with women, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor the drunkards, nor the slanderers, nor the swindlers. Friend, don't let nobody deceive you. Singles ministries can be a good thing if that's what's really in there. Singles. that's never been in a covenant. But other than that, friend, it's a dangerous place to be because many people have been divorced and their spouse is still alive. Enough said, my friend. If you're new to the channel, if you're just now watching one of these videos, I have a playlist of more exhaustive teaching on divorce and remarriage, the great deception that will take many, quote, Christians straight to hell. Adultery is sin. Having sex, living under the same roof with someone else's husband or wife is a sin. God bless you, my friend. Enough said. Till next time.